Rabbi Shalom, Tina Yistalin. As many Rastafari say, Salamta, Tina Yistalin, Nevolam Harak, peace and eternal greetings. I am Brother Spence, the short, brief message today on this blessed so called Friday, late afternoon, just an hour and a half away from sundown, approaching the eve of the true seven-day Sabbath, that true seven-day Shabbat, or that true seven-day Sinbat, Messiah. As we say, Shabbat Shalom, Simba Salam, and Sabbath peace to one and all. But here in the latter hour of daylight, we are still in the sixth day, the last hour of the sixth day, so-called Friday, January 21st, 2022. Rick Murphy speaking, of course, I would like to say all due respect, rest in peace, rest in power to uh, the legendary ballad rock singer Meatloaf and the legendary comedian stand-up comic, a.k.a. Uh, actor, Louis Anderson, both had passed away. This past couple of weeks, we have uh, the infamous Bob Saget, the comedian and the actor, another one of America's dads, another one of America's dads besides Bill Cosby or Dr. Huxtable. You have the classic dad from Full House. The dad from Full House. He was so loving, so funny, so thoughtful and, and caring. And Bob Saget had a cynical, humorous side to him as well. I've seen his stand-ups. He was in uh, many other movies and did, did a lot of great things. He's passed away this, this past week, or these past couple of weeks. And then we had John Madden, right before New Year's, the infamous John Madden, uh, sports announcer. Of course, he lived a pretty good life. I think he was more up there than I thought. And uh, wow, we have Betty White, the first of this so-called New Year. Betty White lived a good life. As a matter of fact, she pretty much lived to be a full century. Technically, she passed uh, these past few weeks at age 99. She lived a great, fulfilled life. She was uh, brilliant. She was funny. She was a genius. She set a good example for people to live. Had uh, a lot of love and compassion for animals. Man, and I was just looking back this past month, or these past few weeks, even before New Year's Eve. Even before so-called New Year's Eve, I was looking back and watching a program on TV right here in this kitchen. I was sitting right here in this chair, in this kitchen, at this table, watching the television. Some kind of special came on television as a reflection of 2021, this past year. And all the people, all the famous people that have passed on, all the famous people this past year that have died or passed away or passed on to that spiritual realm to be with the ancestors. And there was a lot of faces that I did not know had passed. There was a lot of faces and black and white pictures of people that I may have not even known who they were. Not every so-called you know, well-known person or famous person is somebody that I'm 
connected with or familiar with. But I was amazed to see, and uh, I mean, even on this YouTube channel this past year, I've given respect to a lot of uh, actors and even uh, musicians, even other artists besides Meatloaf, but other artists and lyricists within that realm of hip hop, original rap and hip hop culture that stem from rock and roll culture, that stem from the original punk rock and, and rock and roll culture back in, you know, the good old days. Stem from the streets of uh, Brooklyn and Manhattan and New York City, parts of Jersey, here on the East Coast, you had the infamous Biz Marquis, the legendary Biz Marquis, rest in peace. And I think I put out a video to pay respects to his life. Um, so many rappers, and not just whack rappers or fake rappers, but true original rappers and lyricists, true hip hoppers that were pioneers like Biz Marquis, like Shock G from Digital Underground, The Humpty Dance, collaborated with uh, the infamous Tupac and other legends like that, passed away. MF Doom, the underground rapper. A lot of underground rappers and hip hoppers have passed on. MF Doom was, you know, infamous for his, you know, just raw style beats, his raw uh, beats, kind of like the RZA with uh, samples, dirty samples from different record crates, just like the original rappers and DJs would do. The original hip hoppers and lyricists would, would get, get down like that. You have many other rappers, uh, who else? DMX, that's the one that really hit hard, was DMX. Then you had the great comedian and the great actor, Norm MacDonald, he was in SNL. He was in many sketches, uh, many other comical sketches with other people, many classic movies with other great actors and comedians that I have a much that I have much love and respect for. Norm MacDonald was a genius. He was a comical genius, and I never even got to put out a video. But I'm watching this program on TV, not even a month ago, sitting right here in this chair at this table, in this kitchen. And I saw that uh, Dustin Diamond, the actor who played Screech in Saved by the Bell, taking us back to the 80s and the 90s. Come on, man. He passed? I didn't even know that he passed. Ironically, I know he got more into uh, cynical humor and stand-up comedy in the past several years. And I heard he was pretty good. I actually checked out a couple videos of his on YouTube. And uh, Dustin Diamond, a.k.a. Screech. Um, not that he probably liked to hear that in person, but I saw the brother in person at my favorite spot right here in my hometown of Roanoke, Virginia, about four years ago. Around this time, four years ago, me and a, a friend of mine, you know, kind of pointed him out. Like, hey, look, that's the actor who played Screech. That's Dustin Diamond. And I even said what's up to him and gave him gave him a head nod and, you know, what's up? And <clears throat> he gave me a head nod back and a little smile like, hey, what's up, man? Like, I don't like to bother so-called famous people. You know, I'm sure they get idiots all the time that bombard them with stupid questions. And, hey, I seen you on TV. You're Screech. You're the guy who played Screech. You know, you don't want to do that to, you know, famous people. And not to get into any political uh, topics, discussions about he say, she say, what Babylon's media say. And that's right, what the mainstream media or Babylon's control media says. I will say that with no apologies. But with that being said, not to cater to either side when it comes to politics. Because first and foremost, I don't deal with politics. Many people do, all due respect, but I don't deal with politics. But there is a uh, propaganda out there. There is the usual exaggerated numbers game. However, at the same time, regardless of one saying that 
so-and-so died of COVID or died of this or died of that. There is an obvious spirit of death. There's an obvious spirit of death that has manifested a lot more in the past recent couple of years. I also give big respect to uh, John Prime, legendary folk singer within, within that realm or that style of music and expression. Because I and I appreciate all forms of expression and music, different styles of music, of course. But, wow. So, all this talk about death. And of course, we have to speak the truth. And we have to be realistic. Show love and pay respect to one's lives. Even if, even if we don't know them in person. And no, I've never met any of these people in person. Besides Dust and Diamond. Screech. But, uh, no, I mean, I recognize that I've talked a lot about people dying and different deaths of celebrities and musicians and actors and famous people on different scales. And I would like to take a little time to talk about good things, to talk about life, to talk about victory, to talk about celebrations. Let's, let's put out some positive energy for a change. You know, because the powers that be and the lures of this same wicked Babylon system, especially in these last of last days, they're striving very hard. They're trying very hard to keep ones like I and I at a low level of vibration, to keep your spiritual vibration at a low, very low type platform, a very low, 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 way low platform to where you can't even realign your chakras. We have to elevate our vibration. We need to raise up our vibration through positive thinking, through positive speaking. And I have not um, emphasized and even taken the time to put out more video lectures on this YouTube channel talking about the good things. Speaking of the positive, good things that have taken place. Of course, I have done that in other video lectures regarding my own personal life, my own personal victory. But let's talk about other people's victories and, and celebrations. Let's talk about my brother, another brother from another mother, um, Jay Lambert, a.k.a. Uh, Face value from Built to Right, a local hip hop group in my hometown of Roanoke, Virginia, who also goes by the name Jim No Crow on his Facebook page. But uh, we have my brother in Jay, is officially a father. He is a biological father to his sweet child, his sweet baby child, uh, Cuba. First time in the snow here in Roanoke, Virginia this past week. We got uh, about a foot and a half of snow that we still have on the ground. And uh, that's my brother and Jay, a father. His baby child was born just a couple of months ago. So these are good things that we should celebrate and rejoice in and talk about. New life being born. I get tired of hearing myself talk about this person died, or that person died. Even if they did. There's a respect to Martin Luther King, the great revolutionary, just like Malcolm X and Marcus Garvey and many others. Brother Jay paid respect to Martin Luther King this past uh, Monday of this week. My brother in uh, Doc Science. Who was also in the same uh, hip hop group, built to write, uh, the same little group with uh, my brother and Jay and our other good friend uh, Matt Harding, Ink Wesson, and uh, Doc Science uh, just got married to his beloved uh, wife these past couple of months back in September. So Pam and I were able to attend the wedding ceremony. We had a great time. These are beautiful things in life that we should acknowledge a lot more and celebrate. Uh, we have new life being born. 
you know, couples getting officially married. You know, in a spiritual sense, I'm sure my brother and Doc and his beloved wife, Sarah, have been spiritually connected for many years in their intimate love covenant relationship. But uh, to get legally married, to further tie the knot, despite traditions of men, is always a beautiful thing. So we give thanks for that. Then you have my good brethren, uh, Frank Delito, my spiritual brother in Christ, or true, genuine, born again brother in Messiah, through Yahweh's kingdom, you know, through Yahweh's kingdom in Christ Jesus, you know, in Christ Yeshua, our Lord. And this brother comes over just about every Shabbat or every other Shabbat, the fellowship. That's him and his beloved wife and the sweet little baby girl. Isn't she precious? The sweet little baby girl, Sophia. And my brother is blessed. For a long time, they could not bear any children, you know. So, Baruch Hashem. The Most High, Yahweh, Eloheinu. The Most High, Jah, is worthy of infinite praise. He is merciful. He is loving. So we give thanks for life. There's another picture of my brother and Frank's little girl. She's adorable. So she was born here in these past couple of months. So we have so much to rejoice in. So many good things to talk about. More life being brought into, you know, the ciphers and the, the, the little circle of friendships. The little circle of friendships of family and, and acquaintances that we see in a day-to-day -day basis. There's always new babies and new life being born into this world. And because we see the downfall of Babylon system, of this corrupt world system, it can be bittersweet. But we must focus, stay disciplined, stay positive. This is why I put out videos. This is why I meditate and spend more of my personal time and my energy to shine light before others, to share knowledge with others who have eyes to see and ears to hear spiritually, who have a reverent heart or a righteous heart to seek knowledge, to seek a higher truth, to find our true purposes in life and spread that knowledge to the youth, to these innocent babies and these innocent children. So, we have my earthly family. That's my uh, earthly stepdad, Greg. On the far left, my mother holding my sweet little baby niece, Lennon. Or, my apologies, that's my sister in the, right there in the middle. My sister, Kendall, holding her little girl, uh, Lennon. And that's her husband, Brad. You know, to her left, or to her right, Salika, that's uh, my lady Pam and I, smiling in the background, and my sister Kendall, my sister Kendall um, has been found out to be pregnant. Again, the second child, um, where we just found out this past month. You know, so life is good. Life is beautiful. New life being born, innocent children growing up. My little niece, Lennon, is, is uh, so smart. She's only three years old and she can pronounce words. Her vocabulary is like that of a, a, a 10 year old. It's amazing. So much to be proud of. So much to give thanks. With that being said, we still pay a high respect. We also give much respect to those who have lost their lives, who have already lived a good life, even if their lifespan was shortened. And it seems that they left before their time. These famous actors and celebrities that uh, we grew up watching on TV, watching America's Funniest Videos with Bob Saget, rest in peace. Now today, rest in peace, Meatloaf and Louis Anderson. Shalom.